This is Sunday the 14th of May 2023 and um, this is a tribute video and um, this, this is to commemorate this is to commemorate what would have been Wartat's 16th birthday. This is Wartat here. You may you may know him or or anyone who's in the stud may know him. He was in the Irish National Stud. Uh, he was in the stud from between the year 2011 to 2018. He was relocated to France in 2018, October 2018. And um, I knew him for fortunately only for a very short time, um, only a year and eight months. Uh, he left. He he left the stud at the end of October 2018 to move over to France and he only so he only man he only managed to he only he only um he only uh, lasted there for two years and then he passed away in on the fifth of April twenty 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 twenty. Exactly three years ago, um it would be three years ago, it would have been three years ago the fifth of April this year. He died of a ruptured aorta. Um, I think there's something to do with the heart. I think so. I think it's to do with the heart. And um, I, I didn't take the news very well, as you know, you can probably imagine. Uh, I literally went down on my knees and I literally screamed when I found out the news. I read it on Twitter. Um, we are saddened to um, to announce the passing of the Italian stallion Wartat, who sadly passed away um, due to a ruptured aorta the age of 13 and I screamed I got down on my knees and I screamed Liam was in the bathroom and I think he knew by the sound of my screaming that there was something wrong I just literally screamed and screamed I just got on my knees and this year and to this day three years later I still haven't gone over his death and I don't think I ever will I find anniversaries and birthdays very difficult for me when it comes to Wartat or any horse that I'm very fond of, you know. But Wartat was very special. He was not. He was not. He was not like any other horse that I've ever met. He was very, very funny. He'd have me laughing. He'd have me stitches. He'd always have me. He's always nodding his head. If I asked him a question, he'd always nod yes. Or he had. He had real character. He had real personality. He was so so funny. He'd have me like. I watch videos back at home. Of me and him talking, me and him talking together at the stud, you know, go back of, over our day at the stud together. And I've been looking back of me and him <laughs> communicating in the <laughs> talking in the paddock or talking at the stable. And I've been looking at his, looking at his, um, you know, his reactions to me. And, you know, I'm going, ciao, ciao, what that, what that, ciao, what that. And, he been nodding his head. He 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 been nodding away, nodding away his head, and you know I'd be saying, "Oh, you do love your horse, what that?" And he been nodding his head. He just, I never met a horse so like him. He is just so unique. He's a very unique horse. He's just a hilarious horse. I've, he is just no horse like him. He's just so very. I don't know what to describe, but he's just so different. Um, there's um. There is this one day that I never forget. It, it just always, it always remains in my head. It always remains in my head. It's the nineteenth of July, two thousand and eighteen. I never will forget this day. This was totally. This is a memory. This is totally memorable. This, this, this is, this is a memorable, 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 memorable day. Uh, uh, sorry. This is a day that I never forget. Uh, we were down at the paddocks and we were just chatting to Wartat and chatting to Dragon. Dragon was next door to him, he's in the next paddock next to him. And Dragon looked like he was asleep. He's kind of asleep for a while. He's kind of asleep, he's asleep for a while and then he came around, suddenly came around and I was chatting to Dragon. And then Wartat was in the middle of the field uh, at the time, so I had Dragon for a while. And then Wartat came over, eventually came over and joined us. And I said, Hi Wartat, how are you, Wartat? Wartat, how are you today? You know, Wartat, 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 you go say hello to me, Wartat. Come on, Wartat, say hello to me, Wartat. Come on, Wartat, say hello, you know. Wartat, 
War Dad! Hello, War Dad! War Dad! I'm here! War Dad! Look at me! War Dad! You know, he's chatting away to him, you know. And then he go nibble at the fence. He's nibbling at the fence, you know, biting at the fence. And, War Dad, stop that! Stop doing that, War Dad! War Dad, stop biting the fence! You're going to break the fence! You're going to break the fence, War Dad! He just wouldn't, he wouldn't stop biting the fence. He wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't stop biting the fence and, uh, he wouldn't stop biting it and, he just kept biting the fence and living at the fence. He's a terror for doing that. He just wouldn't stop biting the fence. He just kept biting it and biting. War Dad, stop that. War Dad, stop. War Dad. Are you, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to, are you trying to break out the, are you trying to break out the stud? Are you trying to break out the stud, War Dad? Are you, are you trying to um, escape from the stud? Do you know? I, I, I'm trying to do, um, 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 uh, but about the great escape, it's a great, uh, Liam is talking about the great escape or something. It's, it's, trying, to, it's trying to escape from the stud, War Dad. War Dad, don't break the fence. You're going to break the fence, War Dad. War Dad, stop doing that, War Dad. You're going to break the fence, you know. And I was at him, I was him, I was him uh, for ages doing this. I was going on at him for ages and ages and ages and ages. War Dad, stop that. War Dad. And then eventually the whole panel said, Panel came down. <laughs> the whole panel came down. It was absolutely hilarious. It's totally, oh, it was just so so funny. I mean, seriously, so funny. I did. Oh my god. So I was just literally in stitches, literally in stitches. And I was even laughing watching the back when I came home. I was, I was even laughing watching the back when I came home. It's just so funny, you know. He's just a hilarious horse. <laughs> He's a funny horse, and uh, I love him. I just love him so much, you know. Um, I just love him so much, and this horse. I really miss him so much. You know, I did. Um, he's a very special horse. He's very, very special, and I'm, I totally miss him. You know, and uh, shortly after he died, I did a tribute poster to him. I have it up in the, I have it in the kitchen on my wall. It was a photograph. Uh, I was in. I found the address. In France, where he was, where he stood, where they, where he was sent to, uh, they sent me the address and the email of where he, where he was, where he was relocated to, and Ward had, he had his own website, www.wardpad.com. So he's kind of famous. He had his own website, you know. So it was actually quite funny. So. He sent photographs, he had photographs and he had videos as well as some of his races, videos of some of his races and the videos of him being led into his paddock and stuff as well and some photographs of the stud itself and some photographs of him in of the hay shed and not the, the what they call that, uh, uh, not the hay shed, uh, 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 what call the breeding shed and um, his stable you know himself in his stable and the paddocks and the beautiful stud and um, and I got three of his races on video and um, and uh, and lovely photographs beautiful photographs as well and they kept me in touch with all they gave me all updates and how he was getting on and with the mares he covered and stuff and then his fee as well these Two thousand and eight hundred or something. I think it's two thousand eight hundred. I think was this way. I think something like that. Uh, something along those lines. And if he had survived, he would have had a very bright future. He had very, very high potential. Apparently, he would have had a very bright future if he had survived, according to according to um, reports and according to the the um, what do you call it the racing news to some people to reports in the racing world who are saying they had very high potential he would have had a, a very bright future he would, as a as a stallion as a stallion would have had a very bright future a very high potential and that stuff he, he was in for a very very bright future he had survived but fortunately and he was doing very well before he died he's doing very well before he died and himself he, he won that race as himself as a racehorse and um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I do miss some loads. Uh, fortunately, um, I would have liked to have known him when he first came to the stud back in, in 2011. 
I only came to Stuttgart in 2017, so I didn't have that much time with him. I would have liked to have been there. I, was, I, I would have liked to have been in the Stud years ago. I I regret not going to Stud years ago. I would have liked to be in the Stud since 2011, maybe even before 2011. Um, I would have met the other big names like Big Bad Bob and Vintage Crop and Moscow Flyer and all the other big names that were there before we came. And, um, and Warpad himself, and I would have seen Gelfors as a arrival. He came in 2014, so, but, um, yeah, so I would have had a lot more time with Warpad if I'd came in 2011, because that's the year that Warpad came to the stuff, was in 2011. So uh, he was there for seven years. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, he was only 13 when he died. So it's not that long, it's not that, it's not that old when you think about it. So uh, you would have been roughly, I think in human years, if he was survived, if he was alive today, he would be probably, in human years, probably think it's 64 in human years. I think it's 64. So, so he'd be only in his 60s in human years if he was alive. Which isn't, but if it's still it's not that old. It's still quite young if you think about it. So, uh, I still can't believe he's gone because I still can't understand how he would get ruptured aorta because he was so fit, so full of vitality in the Irish National Stud. He had no health issues at the stud, as far as I remember. But with the time that we were there, he never had any health issues. The only thing he had to get done when he was in the stud was his shoes. He never had anything else done, as far as I know, because he's always very fit. He's always running around in the field, galloping away, and he's always seemed so happy and content, not a bother on him. He's always very, very sociable, and he's interact with everybody. He loved the public. He loved the attention. He just loved the attention. He just loved the attention. You know, I, I really love him so much. I love him even, even after his death, I still love him. And I miss him like hell. I do miss him like hell. I really do miss him like hell. I mean, I, I still haven't got over his death. I don't think I'll ever will get over his death. I don't think I'll ever will get over his death. It was heartbreaking for me that I found out the news. It was heartbreaking. I love that horse so much. I really did. I'm so. Um, I really wanted to go to the Irish National Stud today. I was going to do this. I was going to do a talk at the stud today for us, for his birthday. I was planning to go to the stud today. I was going to do a talk at his um, stable today for his birthday. Um, normally every year I do. I'd go to the stud for the horses' birthdays, so their anniversaries. I was, I was planning to go to the stud today. I was going to do a talk by his stable today for his birthday, but I couldn't go today because the game's not well today, so I had to. That's why I'm doing my video. That's why I'm doing the talk at home. So um, that's why I'm doing the talk at home because I can't, because I couldn't do it at the start today, like like as planned. So that's why I'm doing the tribute at home. But it's, it's not the same. I would I would prefer to do it at the start, but I would prefer to do it in the start, but I couldn't be there today. I would have liked to be there at the start. Would would prefer to do it at his at his stable or 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 at his paddock. Around his paddock, but I might go to to his paddock tomorrow or stable tomorrow and do a little, a little talk, just a kind of a little message to him, to Wartad, even though it's a, even though it's a late day, late, even though it's a day late after his birthday, you know, it was just kind of just to kind of make up make up for missing out on his actual birthday, you know. I mean, I, was, I would have liked to have been there as as. I you see that was the original plan. I was going to go to the stud today to wish him happy birthday. You know, to I was going to do a, 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 I was going to do a tribute video at his paddock or at his stable. This stable that he was in when we first came to the stud. He was in number four. He was in number four when we came to the Irish National Stud back in two thousand seventeen. I'm not too sure where he was before we came. I'm not too sure what stable he was in before we came to the stud. But when he came to the stud, he was he was in he's in number four. So he's probably in number four for the. He's probably in, 
number four of the few, uh, number four for a few years, from 2011 to 2017, and then he's moved down to number nine. Then um, he's moved down to number nine. Then in um, early 2018, and then he left that, and then he left that year. He left the end of October of that year. <coughs> Um, and fortunately, I didn't. Uh, I didn't see him on his last day. Uh, <coughs> I missed out. I missed out on a lot of October. I was away for a lot of October. Uh, I was away for three weeks. Uh, I was away for nearly the whole month of October of that year. Uh, we had trouble with our camera. We had issues with we had issues with our camera that year, uh, in October of that year because um, uh, we had trouble because we it was giving us problems with some trouble with the charger or it wasn't working and we had to get a new camera. So we had always had some issues with our camera, so it wasn't working. So we weren't able to we we, we weren't able to film. We weren't able to film. <coughs> Stood. It's at the time we weren't thinking. We, at the time we weren't thinking, we weren't using our heads and thinking that we could have used our mobiles. You see, we weren't thinking at that stage that we could have used our mobiles. We weren't using our heads at the time thinking that we could have bought our mobiles and filmed on our mobiles. You see, because it's not always easy to film on your mobile because you, need, because you need to make sure that you have enough storage. You see, it's easier to film on your on the cameras. You see, you see mobiles, you know, it's not always easy to film on your mobiles. So, because you don't always have enough storage to film on your mobiles. But, the last date I saw him walk out alive was um, sorry. The last bush I have of work out <coughs> two thousand sixteen two thousand eighteen was the um the, the um the uh, sixth of um the uh, 6th of October and uh, the, the, the following day, so it was the 8th of October, we had a camera with us that day but um, it wasn't working, it, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't filming, it wasn't filming and we could get it to film. We tried to charge it a few times in the restaurant, it wouldn't work. So Liam wanted to go home. I said, I'm not going home. I come, I've come all this way. I'm not going home. I'm not coming all this way. I'm not going. I'm not to say hello to the horses. So Liam stayed in the restaurant. Now this is the following. Now this is the following day. Now the last picture I have is the sixth. So this is the following day. Now this is the eighth. Of, sorry, this time I'm going. I'm going wrong now. The last picture I have is the eighth of October. Now this is the following day. Now this is the eighth of October. Hold it. Apologise now, apologise now. This, now, this is the following date, which is the 8th of October. Liam and I went to the stone. We had the camera with us, but um, uh, it wasn't filming, it wasn't working. We were going to start filming, it wasn't working. <coughs> so, Liam and I went to the. It started to film, we were, we were just going to film the Libby Legends or something, and Liam said it's not working. We were, we were, we were all set to film the Libby Legends, we were at the Libby Legends paddock. And it wasn't working, and we had charged the camera. We had charged the camera. The camera, the camera was already charged and everything. And we and we had and 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 we and we and we deleted the videos from the previous day, and and, and that worked. We were able to we were able to delete the videos from the previous day. So I can't understand why it wouldn't work. It wasn't working because we were able to delete the videos from the previous day before we left, and then we came to the stud. We had pictures with no sound or something or something went wrong it wasn't working anyway for some reason it wasn't working and i think the lens was all blocked it was all blocked with water it was all it, 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 it's all water loud i think as well because it was all water and it was all water because there's a lot of rain and the, the, the it was all rain rain the previous weeks the, the past few weeks before that it was raining and they got all water loud so Liam decided to stay in the restaurant. I said, I'm not going all this way, I'm not going to say hello to the horses. So Liam sat in the restaurant and waited for me. So I went down to the stallion paddocks. I went, I went, I'm all the way down, I'm on my way down, 
The whole way down to the paddock, I was crying my heart out. I was crying. I couldn't believe it. I was actually crying the whole way down to the paddock, I was crying. Because I knew it was coming near the end of the war time. Because they were mentioning weeks weeks previous to this, they were mentioning, they were hinting, a few, hinting giving a few hints about war time leaving. <laughs> so I went down and crying, bawling at crying. So I went down to the horses. Um, War Tad and all the rest of them, War Tads and Gate Wars, all of them, um, they're all at the gate. Gate Wars was at the corner, he's standing at the corner of the left hand side, he's standing at, his, at the side gate at the corner, side fence at the corner. And um, War Tad was out the gate and um, Lucy Pimp and Hell, Palpatine, he had looked like he had a lot of foam in his mouth. And uh, Dragon, all of them were at the fence, War, War Tad. He sat beside, he came over, said hello, and um, so sorry now, I can't film you, I have no camera. So I'm coming down to say hello to you, but I can't film you, I have no camera, my camera's not working. So I thought I'm going to come down to say hello to you, I go, I go and say hello to you, and then I go, I go and have a normal conversation with you because I have no camera. My camera's not working. So, but um, at least they can say hello. But the only horse that didn't say hello to me that day was Invincible. He's the only one that didn't say hello to me. He had his head down, he was grazing away in the grass. So, and then that was, that's the last day that uh, I saw War Tad alive. It was the 8th of October. And then after that, we were away for three weeks. Uh, then we came back and on the 25th of October. That's the, that's, the day, that's the next day that we were back, it was the 25th of October. And I went down all the Stalin stable stores. And I went down to number nine, War Tad Stay. And there was no hay. There was no hay in the stall. His name was still up, but there was no hay in the stall. And I knew straight away when I see hay when I see no hay in the stall, I know there's something not right. I know there's something wrong. I know the horse is not either there or something's not right. Something something unless they haven't put hay in the stall. Something's not right. So I knew instantly, it's clearly obvious that, the, that he's not there anymore, he's gone. So I went down to the paddocks just to check, you know, was just to double check. And there was a girl feeding at least a pimpernel leaves or something up the tree. And I was asking about war pad and, and uh, you know, first we went down to check. We looked at all the other horses first. 